welcome to another Sister A video. This is WDD 130. We are going to be working on week five, more CSS fonts and spacing. Page is coming along quite nicely. We're getting ready to import some Google fonts so you can get the experience of importing. And you're going to choose three or four or more fonts that you feel you might want to use on your website and on your home page you must use at least two different fonts. They're going to be done in a font family for three items paragraph font, your headline font, and your navigation font. So each of those you're going to put a font family and you're going to put the Google font that you choose family's got to have more than one person. So you're going to have it what's called degrade into font you currently chose for your website and then you're going to uh, choose maybe one other very basic web safe font for it to go through. But you must have at least two fonts in your font family and not two Google fonts. The reason we do this is that in case something happens and your import line doesn't work, you're going to direct it to degrade into one of the fonts that you would prefer it to be. All right, so next we're going to bring up our Google fonts. You're going to do a headline font, which you might want it to be a little bit bolder. Like this is kind of a bold one you're going to choose a different font for your paragraph and you're going to choose a font for your navigation. All right, so I have all three of my fonts. The next thing you come and do is down here at the bottom and click on it, it comes up and you're going to get the import line. Now there's two ways of importing. One that takes you into the HTML page. You can tell because it has an HTML link. We're going to import to the CSS line. And this is a benefit because the CSS will be for all of your pages. If you do it just to the HTML page, it will only be for that one page. So we're going to import using this one. And then you're going to select everything except these two style tabs. Those do not go into your CSS. So I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my page and paste it. So I'm going to say goodbye to Google Fonts for now. And where am I going to put it? I'm going to go up to the very top of my CSS page, line one. All right, so the way we're going to make a font family is we're going to put a font family here in the headlines, the H's. All Google fonts are put in single quotes. So the one that I'm going to pick for my headlines, at least to try it out, is this Jalesco. And the easiest thing to do so you do not make any mistakes is come up and carefully select just that one, copy it, and put it in between the single quotes. And then of course you're going to have your Google family degrade into a font or two. and end with one of the very basics, either serif or sans serif. It made my headline font what I had chosen. All right, so my paragraph font, now I'm going to pick from amongst these. Just so that I get this line correct, I'm gonna copy it and paste it into the paragraph. I'm going to replace this with a different one and I might change this to serif. Shadows into light. I like that one. So grab that. Now notice this one has two plus marks in between the words. 
Do not leave the plus marks there. You're going to replace those with a space. All right, so now I need to make my navigation have a different one. So I'm going to choose my navigation from one of these. The font family goes of the three navigations, it goes into nav li. That's where you're going to put your font family, your font size. Those things all go in here. Let me try bench 9. That makes a nice con condensed small one, but we're going to change the size of the font. So let's see how they look once we do that here on the page in the instructions it's showing you how to adjust the font size and we're going to deal in a factor of EM so I'm going to do a font size for my headline Oops. of maybe 2 EM to see how it looks that's a pretty good thing now keep in mind we're going to split the page in half and you don't want to have too big of a font that will hang over the other side. And we're going to do the same thing, a font size for our paragraph. Remember, copy and paste is your friend. And I'm going to make that more like one and a half EM. Remember I said everything doing with the font goes here in nav li, but we don't want it quite 2 EM, so maybe one and a half there also. Now it made it so you can read everything. And now we're going to add what's called line height. Line height is the space in between one line and the line under it. Um, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to give a line height to my headline of 1.1 EM. You never want it to be less than 1. Otherwise, these headlines will, when you change the size of your screen, will collapse onto each other and you won't be able to read the headlines. Same thing here. But we want to make it so that it's better readability. And I'm going to make that one and a half. And on the navigation, the line height goes in nav A. And I actually am going to leave the line height there. The other place that you might put a... a adjust the font is down in your info line down here but in order to do that we're going to go back over to our HTML page the index and add to this info line a class of info and that way I can come back over here onto my styles page and I can adjust the font size something smaller so that it won't have a chance of going over to the other side. The things in your your footer should be smaller than the items above. So it's looking pretty good. Okay, there's just a thing or two more that we might do here on our page for this week. All right, the thing that it's telling you now, if you notice on your page, there's a big space between your headline and paragraph. The way that we're going to fix that, up here you can make a margin bottom of zero and you can make a margin top in the paragraph Of zero. When you come back over you see that significantly decreased the space between. The other thing would be in your navigation 
we're going to make sure that our nav has a padding of 1 em. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.